cat Heather Poole. They must have known it was her. She's Hello. chatting. How you doing? I brought you some paperwork too. Okay. This here is information on Asian massage parlors operating as commercial front brothels. So you guys can check that out later. So what are the signs of a fake massage parlor? One, security cameras to screen and monitor clients. Two, customers being buzzed in. Three, windows covered with bars, boards, or dark curtains. Four, employees who live on site 24 hours a day. Five, employees who rarely leave the location. Six, drivers hired to run errands for the employees. Seven, a constant rotation of employees. Eight, mostly Asian women. Nine, middle to upper class professional male clients. And 10, all male clientele. Which brings us to what I see when I'm driving around town. Massage parlors that are covered with covered windows and uninviting entrances. Massage parlors that are open at 10 p.m. on a weekday. Massage parlors with employees I've never once seen walk out of the place and I've lived here for 10 years. A friend of mine called one of these places to schedule a massage, and the woman who answered the phone asked her if it was for her husband, and when she said it was for her, the lady laughed. This same friend inquired about a foot massage place next to her favorite nail salon. Her manicurist told her not to go there because only men went there. Foot massages. Men. So it's hard to wonder what's going on behind those boarded up windows on Artesia Boulevard. Prostitution, maybe, or her, perhaps it's something darker. Perhaps it's human trafficking. It's not as crazy as it might sound. The signs of a fake massage parlor I mentioned earlier can be found here. I've got this information from the Polaris, Proje Polaris Project. It's a non-profit, non-governmental organization that works to combat and prevent modern-day slavery. 14 to 17,000 people are trafficked into the United States each year. 80% of trafficking involves sexual exploitation, which brings us back to the fake massage parlors and what to look for, which I think is key to stopping modern-day slavery, which is just knowing the signs. I'm a flight attendant for a new major U.S. carrier. I've been trained to spot human trafficking on the plane. People think it's something that happens somewhere else far away, but the truth is it happens everywhere, including here. Did you know the Super Bowl is the number one human trafficking event? Think about that next time you're eating your chips and dip. When I talk to my friends about the massage parlors in town, they always laugh and say, what massage parlors? These are the same mothers who drive their children to school every day, the same mothers who have not noticed that there are eight massage parlors from PCH to Vail. The grocery store is out of business, the dis dentist closed shop, but the massage parlors are thriving. There's a reason my friends don't notice the massage parlors. They strive to blend in, to disappear. Then when I mention human trafficking to my friends, they look at me like I'm crazy. How can something like that happen here? It's easy. It just starts with a shady looking massage parlor. In 2010, the police chief admitted the massage and acupuncture business has been going on, has been an ongoing concern for at least two decades. He said, every time we address, address this issue with these types of operations, it may calm down for a short period of time. But then they come back and we get more complaints from residents. Input from the community is important. Residents see suspicious things that police don't necessarily see, which is why police encourage anyone who sees something suspicious to give them a call. Well, the problem with that is residents don't even notice these establishments exist. How will they see something suspicious when they don't even know the business is there? Basically, the police are seeking information from an uninformed public. How is that helping the situation? That's why I believe it's the city's job to shed some light on what's happening in this town, starting with the number of massage parlors we have compared to the number of other businesses that are doing well. If we want to make the north side of town a more desirable place, then maybe the city should think about educating its citizens on what to look for, about what knowing what to look for is the first step to stop whatever could be happening behind those... You have to wrap it up in about... I'm wrapping it up. Behind those covered windows with the metal bars across them. It's all about looking for the signs. I don't expect there's much anyone here I don't expect there's much anyone here can do to get rid of what's all those shady massage parlors. All I want is for everyone in this room to walk out that door and start paying attention. It's on you now. That's Thanks it. for bringing it to our attention. I appreciate it. Okay, was there a motion to see the file? So moved. Thank you. Give it to the clerk and we'll get a copy.